Spring is my favourite season. Everything bursts back to life. Lush green grass, pretty flowers decorate a footpath, butterflies dancing in the air, birds singing songs and feeding their young. For the first DIY I'm going to be using this here. I thought it was just so cute. It's a mini box, it's oval. I got it from Hobbycraft and I'm not going to be painting it up because I just love how rustic this looks. Next you want a music sheet, so I went and looked for a vintage one. You can dye it yourself if you can't find it, but it's so easy to find on the internet. So I've printed it onto some paper because my printer doesn't take card. So now I have to stick it onto some card just to make it a little bit stronger. You're going to grab your box and draw along it so you know how much to cut then you're gonna just cut that out so I had to cut it down a little bit more just so it can fit inside again I'm going to be taking my glue stick and adding glue inside the little tub then we're just gonna put that inside now I'm taking this nest from Home Bargains and it's got the eggs already in there. I'm going to stick that at the bottom here, just using my hot glue. I'm going to stick it at an angle. I'm taking this tester pot from Wilco and this is called a dotting tool. So I'm just going to create little dots on the eggs. Just give it a little bit more detail. Then I'm going to add a little bit of acrylic paint just to the nest to kind of make it, I don't know how to explain, but a little bit more rustic. I'm just dabbing away at the paint because I don't want it to be too much. Now I'm taking my acrylic paint again just to go over the edges of the box Again, very lightly, and this is why I love this tool. Just adds enough, but not too much. You have quite a lot of control over it. Now I have this die cut book and I've just got this out of it. And I thought that would look perfect in the middle, but I'm going to give it some height, some added dimension, so it can kind of pop out and just kind of look 3D. And to do that, I'm going to be using a sticky foam pad. So this is what they look like and I'm just going to cut that size because it's too big for my paper. So half should do and if you want it to pop out more you can even place two on top of each other. So I'm going to have a look to see if one is enough. I think I might actually go for two. So I'm just going to place that on top and then remove that and stick it in the center. Perfect. So this is a finished project. I really, really love it. I think it's so rustic and vintage and oh, I just really adore this. It's one of my favorite creations. And then you can place the lid on top as well, which is great because then when you open it up, you have this gorgeous surprise. Okay, so on to DIY number two, I'm going to be using this tiny, super cute miniature teacup that I thrifted. I really love that. And it's going to be a little bit similar to the first DIY. So I'm going to be taking the same nest and I'm going to glue it inside at an angle. And again, I'm just taking my acrylic paint to make this a little bit more rustic. Add some dots to the eggs. It really does make a difference. Then I'm going to be taking this little bird here and we're going to fit him inside the cup on the nests and just glue him in place. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut these down as far as I can go. And then taking my hot glue, just add them wherever you like. So I'm going to put some right here in the nest and on the outer area of the cup. Let's take some greens and blues, we used that before. 
I'm taking a bigger flower here. Again, I'm just going to place it at the back. So you can use different colours, you can use different sizes. Taking a few more, so I've got these white ones here. I've cut it and again I'm going to stick it. So you can see some are inside and some are on the outer side of the cup. I'm taking a feather just to add here. I feel like it's a really beautiful touch. I felt like something was missing right here because I'm doing this quite packed out as you can see. So I thought a pearl would look really nice there. So I've got this garland and I'm going to just cut them off so you can see I've cut one ball off there. I think I'm going to need three maybe in total. So then I'm just going to glue them down in that area. Now we want to add a ribbon to hang the cup from. So I've chosen a pink one. I'm just slipping that through and then I'm going to glue these two ends together. So here's the finished project. Look at how sweet and adorable it is. It fits in my two hands or it can actually fit in one hand. And then you've got this to hang it from. For the final project of today I'm taking a small canvas. This is actually from Arteza. The link to Arteza products are below in my description box. I'm starting off with a print from this vintage pad that I have. You can just print something off the internet like we did in the first project with the music sheet. I think I'm going to go for this one here. So as you can see it doesn't fit completely and that's generally why I stick with printouts. So I'm just going to place it on top and then fold it so I know how much to cut. Then you've got a crease down here. Now you can glue it down, I'm going to be using PVA, you can use Mod Podge as well. So you want to cover the entire surface of your canvas. Then I'm placing that on top. And then at the bottom, I'm taking the rest I have. Doesn't matter if it looks messy because I'm going to be layering anyway, so it's going to be covered. I'm going over the edges to make sure that they're sealed down. So you're going to do that all across. Then using my vintage pad again, I'm going to take this one here. And I think I'm going to have it like this, so I'm, again I've just kind of went over this with my finger so I can see how much to cut. And then taking my PVA again, just adding that to the paper. Now I'm going over it with some matte mud podge, just to seal this, the sides here. I'm taking this paper doily. And I've got some tea here to stain it to make it look vintage and old. You can do this with coffee as well. So once you've done this and stained it, you want to um, either use a heat gun to dry it or you can just put it on a radiator. And I'm going to take my glue stick to stick that down. And then for my die cut book, I'm taking this piece here and I'm going to add that in the corner on top of the doily. So I got this from the thrift store and I've dyed it again in my mug of tea. So I'm going to dry it now and I'm going to be adding some material to the canvas. So this is how I'm going to add it. I haven't quite stuck this down because I wanted it to go underneath it a little. So I'm just going to cut that and stick it down. So I've also placed a little strip of lace right there and then I've got the corner one here as well. I've got this necklace, again I always buy jewellery so that I can craft with it. And finally I'm going to get to use this one. So I'm going to use three flowers and we're going to stick it in the corner of the canvas. So I'm going to remove these with some pliers. So I'm using two combinations of glue. So I'm using this one from Wilco. It's all purpose glue and then just taking my hot glue to put around there, tucking it under those two flowers and then just pressing it for a while. 
And then I'm taking apart some hair bands. So I've got this blue, I thought it's going to add a lovely touch of colour. And then this pink one here, which I'm yet to remove. So as you can see, I've added three butterflies. These are from my die cut book. And now I'm going to be taking more jewellery. I've got this gold leaf. And I'm going to kind of take away from the gold a little bit because it's all shiny, it looks too new. So I'm going to be adding a little acrylic paint, again using my little dabber. Now I'm going over the edges with some ink here and my dabber. Just to get rid of any harsh white from the canvas. Now I'm going to seal the butterflies and this with my Mod Podge again. This is a matte one and you can go with glass if you like. Now I'm going to finish off splatting the artwork with my acrylic paint pen and you can do this with a paintbrush. And here's a look at the final completed project for today. This was really arty and I had so much fun making it. I haven't really done an art piece for some time and this was obviously mixed media. We used a lot of things here. We had some jewellery, we had textiles, we had card and paint. I really love how this came out. So what's your favourite project from today? Let me know. And as always, if you have enjoyed watching, please do leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and if you have a craft Crafty friend, share this video with them. Thank you so much for your support. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next project. Bye for now.